Ford GT, this is a 2005 model year, painted speed yellow uh, with the optional painted stripes. This car has just over 1,700 miles on the odometer. It's a very nice, well-preserved example of it. Uh, this car has <clears throat> the optional BBS wheels. Uh, does not have the black, or the, excuse me, it does not have the optional red painted calipers. Uh, I think it looks really good with the color scheme though, the black, black calipers kind of blend in really nice. Uh, it's an awesome speed yellow color. They made just 97 of them in 2005. This particular car has all of the documents, uh, the Celine build book that has all of the sign-offs for the quality control. Uh, there's hundreds of pages of documents in there just showing you tolerances, alignments, specs, all that stuff. Um, really unique thing to have with these cars. This car has some clear bra here, kind of the lower section of the car as well as the entire front clip of the car has clear bra. These uh, scuff sill plate areas have clear protection film on it as well. Uh, this car always has extra set of mats. Here's the, the standard floor mat or floor. There's really no floor mat on these cars. So these have been in there since new just to kind of keep the scuffs to a minimum. Um, this car also has the optional Macintosh stereo. Uh, gives you a subwoofer back here, some tweeters down there, which you can't see. Um, but yeah, so three out of the four options available on this car. Um, and like I said about well-preserved, all of these Ford stickers are still in intact all over the car. You can see there's a VIN there on the door. Uh, I'll show you the engine bay. There's, there's stickers and um, tags, labels. All that stuff is either in the Celine build book because they were removed preemptively so that it wasn't lost during the driving of the car or they're still intact on the car itself. Um, super clean. Everything works as you'd imagine. Um, nothing to complain about there. Mechanically, great. Interior, great. Some, all the gauges work, air conditioning works, stereo works, everything works. I will show you the trunk area, the frunk. It's rather nice to have stuff. It has the car cover. This is the uh, bag with the charger in it, battery trickle charger. It's got the recovery kit still in it. There's another hard to see but underneath here there's a VIN tag it's all in the photo album uh, another VIN sticker there all these stickers everywhere you can also see in the um, gallery photos we have a we have the trunk liner removed and you can see how clean and nice and all of the original markings are still intact underneath this I'm not gonna take it out for this video um, original glass everywhere Pop the, show you the engine bay now. All right, so like I said earlier in the video, tons and tons of originality to the car. And there's stampings. This is like something that you would imagine would come off, you know, after a few thousand miles, but given how low mileage this car is, it's still there. Um, the engine builder stamped there. And that's nothing special, I guess. It's on. I mean, it's on every car, but you know that one's in good shape. All of this, all of the markings on the bolts are there. Um, like tags like this, stuff like that, you would imagine would just fall off the car after so many miles. So, just goes to show you how many, well, how well cared for and you know 
fair weather this car really is and given that there's only 1700 miles on it um you know it really shows nicely show you some more on this side just all this stuff is super clean that label is perfect more markings Something else really cool that comes with the vehicle is this Celine build book. Uh, this is the last digits of the VIN. Um, these books include all of the uh, quality control sign-offs along the way. This is the broadcast sheet, uh, incoming inspection, tire alignment, pre-delivery inspection, but basically just quality control sign-off and stampings of every station along the way. It includes tolerances and wheel weights and alignment specs all that stuff um, also in here is the uh, second key still unused in the original bag it's actually not the fob isn't even assembled to the key here's also the the original window sticker um, still on the the wax paper back so it was never actually stuck to the window of the vehicle but goes to show you the uh, three of the four uh, available options here Macintosh um, the BBS wheels and then painted stripes were selected on this vehicle. Uh, the only option that this car doesn't have, like I mentioned earlier, is the red painted calipers. Um, I think it goes with this theme better, the black calipers with the black stripes on um, the yellow car. But yeah, really cool book to uh, to include with the sale and shows you all of the, uh, you know, the, the fun kind of useless information, but fun stuff to know and have about uh, a collector car like this. Uh, also included is this 4GT team history book. This just goes through the, the history of the vehicle, the design team, the marketing team, the Celine team, all these various people and, and uh, all sorts of companies involved with the process of it and a bunch of good information.